Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Wednesday, November 22nd at 10.49 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. You're looking at fresh tracks up at Wolf Creek, just about 20 miles from here in the South San Juans. Yes, that's snow. Six to 12 inches across South San Juans. Here's Keystone from an aircraft, Arapaho. The current snowpack in Colorado is low, although north and west of here, it is 300%, but this is normal. Um, we usually start slow and then crush it. Wolf Creek gets the most snow in Colorado. So we're just getting started. We get over 500 inches. Here's the forecast for December and I'll tell you what's going on here. The albedo effect is going on. This is albedo out the albedo. Green and white is above normal precept for the entire month. Hello Northeast, hello Midwest. It looks like Ohio, Indiana, Illinois big numbers and you're not going to be left out at all Oregon above normal precept that's the forecast burst of cold air lake effect snow to motor across the midwestern northeast US Thanksgiving weekend boom there there here's the forecast for your Thanksgiving this cold episode will pale in comparison to the blast that hit on November 9th to the 11th, but it is going to be chilly there over in the Northeast, New York. Look for localized heavy lake effect snow Saturday and Sunday, Syracuse, Western PA, Michigan, Traverse City, Grand Rapids, Sault Ste. Marie. Look at these chilly winds. What an arrow. That is amazing. Check out the temps. Binghamton, boom, 20. 10 up in northern New York. You know what we're talking? Lake Placid. They're probably skiing their arses off up there. I love that Keene Valley. Boom. Ice climb naked under the full moon. Do it. Chilly Greg, you know what I'm talking about. Real field temperatures will range from the teens across the northern tier to the 20s. That's your grand solar minimum update, Northeast. Let's talk about uh, an iconic storm that blasted through the eastern U.S. at Thanksgiving. I love to talk about history. Uh, history is a mystery because they keep changing it. <laughs> but here's the truth. One of the most intense 20th century storms you may have never heard of. And it consistently makes it to meteorologists' top 10 list of all-time greatest storms. I'll let you read about it. Boom. Let's talk about cosmic ray flux. We can go to the Euro rainfall model because it's the bigger, it's giving us the bigger numbers. Everyone likes the bigger numbers. Lake City, Jacksonville, three plus inches. That's Friday. Cosmic ray flux causing atmospheric rivers and more rain. This looks like some pretty colors. Whoa! Wow. So what it's looking like, guys, is a little bit of snow up in the north here. I won't move my cursor over because it's going to screw up the video. And as the time progresses, the the northern cagons, uh, whatever they're called up there. I'm, I'm from America. I have no idea what's going on. There's snow up there. West of Aberdeen, you're going to get snow, a bunch of it. And a lot of wind. There, look at these arrows. You guys got a lot of arrows over there in the UK. I'll tell you what. And it's going to be chilly. Six in Glasgow. Nine in Manchester. Me mum. I was from a little town north of uh, Shetsu. Yeah. That's where I grew up. Let's talk about uh, cosmic rays. Cumbria and chaos. As floods close roads and schools strand vehicles. Keeping on that subject, traffic across Cumbria was brought to a standstill Wednesday afternoon after heavy rain, flooded roads, stranding cars, shutting down traffic. That's you, Edinburgh, B B Belfast. You're going to get snow, but you just got saturated, 
according to this article, more than 20 schools closed. We could probably see some more pretty colors if we push this button. There they were. It's a GIF. Doesn't seem to be working. There it goes. Wow. That's what happened. Here's the timestamp. It's only going to continue. Look, there's a subway or something. Imagine what's in that water. Oh my God. Do not drink it. More heavy rain forecast for the day. Spot flooding nationwide before temperatures set to plummet. That's you, Irish news. Ireland. UK, man, you guys are... Look. The country will experience heavy rain for the day before an extremely cold spell hits tomorrow. Morning commuters experience traffic delays, widespread flooding nationwide, and several road closures following heavy rain overnight. That looks like a flash flood right there. Heavy showers are now expected to continue to batter the country throughout today before temperatures will plummet for the rest of the week. Boom! Get your knickers on. Himachal Pradesh reels under intense cold, 5 to 7 degrees colder in India. I'll leave you links to this article. They don't even have winter coats there. Let's talk about the cosmic ray flux. Guys, I'm going to leave you links to this. When you see cosmicrays.ulu.finland, <coughs> you can come to this chart here. And what I want to really quick point out is the, the top graph is the last 24 hours. You have the last 30 days, and you have the complete data set from 1964. What you should glean from the data set from 64 is each of the last four solar cycles have been increasing in cosmic ray flux. The cosmic ray flux of a solar cycle peaks at the solar minimum. So we had solar minimum from 2008 to 2011. And that's when the cosmic rays peak. Our new solar minimum is 2018 to 2020 which is going to be the, the first peak of the onset of the grand minimum that we're descending into. So this isn't going to, this is going to peak up higher here in the coming years, 2018, 2019, which is going to lead to those volcanic eruptions and large earthquakes. We already have the Earth's rotation slowing, and now we're going to have a cosmic ray flux increase, the likes of which we've never seen in modern history. I'll leave you links. Seismic update. Error. Please hit the twirly thing up in the left corner. Guys, we're still looking at a huge uptick in seismic activity in uh, the San Andreas area. If I go to one day all magnitude, oh my goodness. Boom. Seismic activity in the volcanoes in the uh, northeast. And in the inner craton, we have some larger activity, as well as the typical activity that we've been seeing. There's seven earthquakes this week so far in the New Madrid area. Not an uptick, but it's not a, uh, a calming either. Um, quakes of note otherwise. Over here, 5.0 in Ula, Turkey. That's going to be ringing some bells and waking some heads. And a 5.1 over here in Taiwan might be raising some eyebrows. And as far as you guys in New Zealand are concerned, the big quake hasn't hit there yet. But you did have a 5.2 today in northern New Zealand. So the ground is swaying. Robust steaming elevated seismicity at Great Sitkin Volcano, Alaska. Come back to the seismic map. Oh, dear. Let's look at the Aleutian activity. Boom. Sitkin's right here, that white dot. See this white dot? Might be that one. But there's some seismic activity along the fault here in the Ring of Fire. And this baby right here is steaming. I'll leave you links to the article. This guy hasn't erupted since 1974. The last time it erupted, it lasted seven months. Historical eruptions happened during the last grand minimums. Hmm. 
Coming over to Volcano Discovery, Fuego Volcano news and eruption update. It's erupting. I'll leave you links to this. And this kind of cool article on lake lava at Etrea Ale Volcano in Ethiopia. <coughs> Guys, this is a shield volcano in a rift valley. It's where the diamonds are. And I don't know how many of you are interested, but as a geologist, uh, when I speak of volcanoes, I know about volcanoes, and you guys don't. So this is a really good article for laymen to get familiar with the different types of volcano lavas, where they occur, and why they occur. It's called Volcanoes, How Often Do They Erupt, and What Happens When They Do. And I love this picture here as far as the electric universe is concerned because there's a direct relationship to plasma discharge and lightning and volcanic eruption. So this starts with what is a volcano and goes from there. Stratovolcanoes being the ones we're looking for for the bubble muon hypothesis. They happen at subduction zones like the Andes, like Mount St. Helens on the west coast of, PA, of uh, the U.S. Shield volcanoes similar to Hawaii and Kilauea. Caldera volcanoes like Yellowstone, boom, super volcanoes, etc. Um, how often do they erupt? Can we predict them? We know that we probably shouldn't read that because this won't really have good information. But I'll leave this for you so you can, those that aren't familiar with volcanoes can get familiar. Climate change alarmism is garbage in, garbage out. Yes, retired NASA physicist says. Love ya. I'll leave you links to this. Garbage in, garbage out. Once you retire, you can tell the truth. I love this article. Please read this. <laughs> and let's see some garbage in, garbage out. Guys, take a look at this. This is just under climate change in Google. Bearded dragons are dumber because of climate change. Oh my, humans are dumber if they believe that bearded dragons are dumber because of climate change. Oh my gosh. And that's in National Geographic. I used to love that for the naked, uh, never mind. Um, climate change may be making bearded dragons less intelligent. Physics.org picked that up. <coughs> my head just exploded. I will never believe another thing that physics.org says. Oh, and worldwide increase in methane bubbles due to climate change. Babies cause climate change. Climate change is causing climate change. The change of the climate change is climate change. I'm going to relax. Just listen. Two plants. What's the impact of a 180% increase in atmospheric CO2 on a cowpea? <sighs> it's going to die. It's going to be destroyed. Oh my God, it's sprouting first at 1,270 parts per million. There was a 52% increase in stem height. At 1,270 parts per million CO2 in the atmosphere when we're burning up and all dying? There was a 21% increase in stem weight at harvest? Oh my gosh. Think about it. In five years, the world will be amazing. Root length at harvest up 340% at 1,270 parts per million CO2 in the atmosphere. Root weighted harvest. We'll never be able to feed the world. Guys, CO2 is killing us. There's a 38% increase in leaves. Imagine the implications. We'll have to rake for months. <laughs> mm. And think of the weight of the leaf bags. just a short period of time, the whole world is going to be covered in leaves. The total biomass at harvest, the compost on the earth will be 44% more. How will we ever feed ourselves? <laughs> that was fun. 
Guys, if you haven't checked out our Patreon, we added a new level. All right? We're going nuts here. Jim, the electrician, has decided to partner up with me and start a tiny house business. And we'll be uh, making tiny houses starting this winter into the spring to provide for people that are coming out and for those that are looking to get off grid and to get a little flexible with their lifestyle. Now, our tiny houses are going to be built, sourced with all local woods that we harvest on site and mill here. And at the director level, you're going to get 25% off of a tiny home. You just come down here and get involved at the director level. You can even custom design your tiny house. We're going to have three or four models that we're working on uh, coming up shortly here. There's a lot involved. And guys, if we hit... 25 patrons by Thanksgiving. I'm going to send out free free booty packages to all our patrons. Heads up, free booty. It's going to include stickers, seeds, and other crazy stuff that comes from this ranch. Keep it away from the children. So guys, check out our Patreon page. Stay away from the nonsense. Bearded dragons are not stupider because of climate change. Humans are. It's quite clear. The ruse is in. And even NASA believes garbage in, garbage out. So guys, get the facts. Subscribe to our channel. Monitor the uh, cosmic rays as they increase. Start building a greenhouse. Be safe.